right. These are things I'm picking up on after being on a sport bike. Now I'm on a Harley. So, uh, this time it's going to be quick. I got caught in the rain once, riding back from Sperryville um, on 211 on this bike. And that uh, was actually the third time I ever rode it and I got caught in the rain. Luckily, <coughs> there wasn't much rain and I rode out of it. I was only in the rain for about 10 minutes. But man, it made this bike filthy. This thing picked up so much road grime on the bags from the rear wheel. And there was nobody around me, so it wasn't like I was getting misted or sprayed with all the overspray from everybody else. It was just from the bike. But man, after I put the bike away <coughs> and I went and looked at it the next day, it was filthy, disgusting. So I took it out, I washed it, and put some wax on it. And now you can tell by the windscreen again, it's filthy again already. And man, I spent probably a solid 45 minutes scrubbing this thing. This is a long time to wash a bike. <sighs> but <clears throat> I know a lot of Harley guys will tell you that after every ride, they polish their bike. And if you want to keep your chrome super clean and shiny and glassy, that's what you got to do. And that sucks. Man, I hate taking the time to wash my bike. <coughs> but it's a Harley and it has to be clean and shiny. <sighs> Frustrating. That's all I have to say. Short and sweet. Owning a Harley means you'll spend two-thirds of your time riding it and a third of the time cleaning it. So just buy a sport bike, don't buy a Harley. <laughs> and I'm sure it's true for other cruisers too. Anything with chrome and fancy paint, you can't just ignore it. You have to clean it or it'll look like crap, like my windscreen. Oh well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.